Hello friend, today we are going to discuss about events in JavaScript. We use event to call a function in JavaScript. There are three types of events. First is mouse event, second is key event, and third is windows event. There is a list of events in JavaScript. You can search the few are and the most common events I listed here. Okay. So first is mouse event. The first mouse event is click. When you click on somewhere in a website on a button or anything, you click and you, something happen. This is called click event. We can call click event by the keyword of on click. And if you want to double click, then you just call on dbl click or you can call any event you have to first write on you can clearly see on key press on on load on scroll on mouse enter on mouse out and on mouse down on mouse down okay this is how we can call a function let's see why we need a an event for example, if I create a function, function, my function, and here I define alert hello. Hello, friends. After that, I just sem use semicolon and then we have to call this function to see the output. To call a function, we use my function name and then round braces and semicolon. Let's save. You can see whenever we load our website, this alert box is printed or shown to our website. For example, if I re reload this page again. We have hello friend. What if we want to use this function in a specific event? For that we use events. For example, if I create a button here. And we use click here. And after that, we have to call our function on click. And here we provide my function. And after that, we have to provide round braces. Let's save this. You can see this function is called because of this. And just remove this. Let's save. You can see if I save or reload, you can see if I reload, this function is not called. When I click here, you can see hello friend is printed. Instead of alert, you can also use document dot write, document dot write and provide hi guys and say if i click here now you can see hi guys is printed and our button is gone that's why i use alert hello only hello let's say if i click alert is hello is alerted okay and after that if i want to use this click event in my paragraph, let's say hello friend, and after that, I use on click and click here and just provide my function and then round braces. If I just save, you can see if I click here hello is alerted if i change on click with dbl click 
and save db l click and save you can see one time click is not affecting this for example i click but if i click double you can see hello is alerted after that we have mouse over we can call mouse over with mouse enter event just remove this on mouse enter and save when i come here you can see hello is alerted if after enter we have mouse out event we can call mouse out just change enter with out and save when I go here, nothing is happened. When I come down or up, you can see our event is called. Okay. Similarly, we can call our mouse down event. You can use down and save. It is similar like our click event. Just I click here, you can see this event is called. And after that, down we have up again. If I use mouse on mouse up, and save when i click here nothing happened when i release this event is called okay we cannot call our key event in our all tag we can use in our body tag for example on key press and let's provide my function my function and let's save if i come here and just Pressing my keyboard, keyboard key, you can see our event is triggered. And after that, we have just key up. Let's save. And you can see if I come here and press any key, nothing happened. When I release, this event is called. Okay. This is how we can use our key event. And after that, we have windows. Again, we can call windows event in our body tag, except scroll. We can call scroll in div which is overflowing. Okay. And let's see how we can call our windows event. For example, we have to just change this on load and just save. It is whenever it load, it triggered the event. And after that, we have resize on resize. Let's save. Whenever we resize our windows, it this event calls. You can clearly see. And after that, we have on scroll. Scroll. Let's save. This event call. This event triggered when you have um, overflow or scroll bar. Okay. For example, if I just remove this and fill our page with thousand words, let's save. Save. You can see, and whenever I scroll, this event call. This is how you can use event in javascript hope you like this video if you did please subscribe my channel share with your friend and bye bye